What I would say is alpacas are great. They're very personable, they're very intelligent, they're very addictive animals. And they will come right up to you, they're not afraid of people. Uh, they're very well socialized. They're very perceptive, they know their names. Doesn't mean they'll come, but they do know their names. Montana. <laughs> not your turn. I have all boys, so I don't breed them. So most of my alpacas I buy once they're about a year old and they come to me with names. For example, I have Golly, whose real name is Goliath Black. So we started with two, and then it just ballooned from there. I have 17 right now. Be cooperative. Well, I often have people confuse these alpacas with llamas. They'll say, so how are your llamas doing? And I'll very politely say they're not llamas, they're alpacas. And really the difference is size. And the llamas are much larger. They're actually about three times the size of alpacas and they were domesticated to be pack animals. Whereas alpacas, on the other hand, were domesticated to be easy to handle, they're a little more timid, and they were domesticated for their fiber. Alpacas have hair, they don't have wool. So it's much like our hair, it's scaled. Um, that's why it has such good insulation properties because it actually traps the air, which also means it dyes very well because the dye will get up in the scales. So we typically shear around the 1st of May. So about this time, their fiber uh, staple length is about four inches long. Unlike other animals, they don't shed. So we want to get it off of them. And so they're just brought in and restrained, and then they just shear them off. Now the blanket, which is the main part of the body, is, is the premier fiber. And so that will be if you want to spin it or do anything with it. And the rest of it, the rump, the shoulders, the neck, that can be used for many other things. It has really good insulating properties, so it can be used for stuffing comforters. Some people even use it for insulation in their house. All right, a head comes to shape. The finished product, which is the yarn, can be quite expensive. So I've started exploring the fiber arts, and so I had to teach myself how to knit. So I do have a couple of sweaters that have been knit or knit for me, my mother has knit. You know, kind of a rule of thumb is one sweater per one alpaca. I teach in electrical engineering and I have never been on a sabbatical. Out in Kalispell, Montana, which is where we're going, there's a very large, well-known alpaca and llama farm. So we're gonna board them at Great Northern Ranch. We're it's within driving distance, so I don't have to go through withdrawal. I can go out and visit them. And it's nice to just come home and I just come out here and I just kinda go. <sighs> and so it's kind of getting into touch with my natural side. Hey.